Hey guys, it's JH. Welcome to the wind tunnel. <laughs> we don't get much respite here, guys, if we do get a break in the weather in terms of wind. It's just windy city. Okay. I want to go over today something that I think is important and something that I really think is not all that well understood by the majority of people trying channel lock and that is how you have to configure and structure your legs at impact now the whole idea of, of channel lock is that it's a trail side golf swing trail orientation in terms of positioning of pressure and mass and balance but it's also a closed to the target line body alignment golf swing so and we want that configuration when we hit the ball so so what we want guys is basically closed body closed knee line into the ball now what's a closed knee line this is a closed knee line that's a closed knee line that knee inside the lead knee trail knee inside the lead knee that's a closed knee line that's an open knee line how do we get the feeling of that closed knee line just do this get a club here pull it and just pressure it like that and then just do that just do that little shuttle underneath your head just pull your lead arm and just shuttle underneath and you'll feel when you get this right you'll feel your trail thigh and, and, the, and that hip joint there moving that way. You'll feel that leg moving that way and that butt moving that way. Only a little bit. And, and clearly only momentarily in the downswing. But if you can get that, as soon as you get that knee going that way, you're gonna lock the, the hip girdle. And that will basically lock out the torso and lock out the shoulders and lock out the direction of application of the arms. That's the knock-on effect and, and, and the primary producer of, uh, of the correct leg action and the closeness of, of channel lock. If you haven't got that trail leg back there guys in that configuration you'll never keep your trail hip back. You just can't do it. It won't happen. As soon as, soon as, as soon as the trail hip comes forward or the trail knee comes forward, the lead knee, lead hip will want to rotate. Um, trail shoulder will want to get out. Hands will want to get further away from the body. Everything will be going radially. Now in this golf swing we don't want to have what we call a radial effect. Or an arcing in the in the swing that's an arc we don't want that in channel lock channel lock is is tangential it's angular it's specific tangent it's a tangent line it's that type of movement of the club it's that it's a tangent swipe across the target line we don't want the club head arcing from here to here to here. You'll get a little bit of arc in it because you know the golf swing is arky. But you don't want to propagate that as a feeling. Not at all. You do not want to propagate that. What you want to feel is that the swing is clearly <laughs> in the channel which is here and it's that type of swing. It's, it's, it's a tangential line of attack. It's not arky. Now the only way you can become tangential and fire the club in a tangential line of attack is if the hips are closed down. Here. 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 Or more to the point. Here. Here. Now see my, my knees are sliding under my head. My hips are sliding under my head. My hands and arms are going under my head and under my shoulder girdle. 
when I get that 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 shuttling of the knees and the hips, I'm not taking my head forward with it. They are shuttling tangentially, but my head is staying back. I'm not doing that with my head. I'm not doing that. I'm just sliding under here. And when I'm really hitting the ball great, I do get to feel that I get this butt here going that way on the downswing. I really get that feeling. Now the way to get to get into this guys and to get this feeling here is to try and hit a couple of shots like that. Now when I have my when I have my trail foot dead ahead there, it's hard to get much rotation into the ankle and into the knee joint and into the hip hip joint ball. But as soon as I turn that out there, everything wants to go easier. Now, now work on that. Work on, on the position of your trail foot. Just move it around and you'll find that you'll, you'll, actually, you'll actually coil better into the trail side the more flare you have in that trail foot. You, you'll just do that, guys. Now we're over here. We're not in the cow paddock, but we're close to the cow paddock. There's a lot going on the range today, so we can't go over there. But guys, just hit a few shots like this, and, I, and, I, and I've said ad nauseum over the years, or over the year and a half that we've been working with Channel Lock, to just hit some shots where we, we, we hit it like this. Just keep the legs bent, and hit a few shots like that. And just feel like as you hit that shot, that that lead, that trail knee is going this way. Just little, you know, 100 metre shots. Okay, now the other thing, guys, which is something that I'm really, you know, centering on now, and really, you know, concentrating on and that is this trail hand. The trail hand for me guys is, is creating all the motion um, processes within the body as a result of what I do with this trail hand. I'm not thinking I want to have weight transference, you know, rotation, anything like that. All that is happening as a result of this. Because I'm feeling the golf club in that trail hand and it's all trail hand for me, all the receptors in that trail hand are working overtime. I'm just taking it up, I'm just picking it up with that trail hand guys and turning my lead shoulder as much as I can and then just firing that trail hand down. Basically just doing this guy. Just, just picking it up with that trail hand, firing it. Firing it. Now I'm not worried about <laughs> what my body is doing. My body is a responder to this. This is the motivator and the initiator and the creator of the following processes of the body. That, that's what it is, guys. It's a responder to, to this. And this is just... It's 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 a hundred percent of my, my thinking. I just grab this trail hand and I want to put it over here and then I just fire it from the top of the swing and I fire that club head like that. I pick it up here and I fire it like that. And I, and I promise you guys that's all I'm doing. It's essentially this. That's my golf swing now. And when I practice, I keep those feet down to get the feeling that those that I've got the soggy knees. But that's my goal swing, guys. I just pick it up with that trail hand, feel a little bit of something, a bit of pressure in the lower body, and then from the top of the swing, I'm just firing that trail hand. How am I firing? I'm firing it straight into the ground. I'm rotating it into the ground. Now, clearly, the lead hand has a role to play. 
Now guys, I've been hitting, because it's so windy here, what I find helps me is I hit a lot of what I call mini set shots where I just take it back a short distance and then I fire over that short distance as hard and as aggressively and as fast as I can with that trail hand. Short abbreviated accelerating golf swing. Something like this and I hit a lot of these shots guys. Got five iron here. I, I wouldn't say try a five iron, get, get, you know, get whatever, get an eight iron or nine or whatever. But all I'm doing guys, I'm doing this. Now that sign out there is where I would be hitting a full five iron two today into that wind. And that ball has landed like, you know, four or five yards in front of that sign with that tiny little golf swing. Tiny little golf swing. See that? But it's such an aggressive tiny little golf swing. And guys, the strange thing about this is that the shorter it is here, the faster I can actually fire that trail hand with control because it's not coming from here and it's not doing this it's from here and it's just like just like that just like a little if you were going here if you wanted to stab something into a, a bullseye there with something you know, and you had to spike here in your hand it would be pretty hard to do it from up here as effectively as it would be from there and that's all I'm doing and I'm hitting a lot of these shots lately and I promise you <coughs> Okay, it's a good way to shorten up your swing, but it's amazing the amount of power you can get off such a little base. See how small that is, guys? But the, but the emphasis on hitting the ball is not small. The emphasis on hitting the ball is 120%. Take it here. can't hit it harder than that and and the speed I get off that little swing is exactly the same speed I'm getting off a full swing see guys that's a slap that that that's a turn down slap that's slap slap do they hit some of these shots Just slap it. Maximum slap. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Okay, that's a little slap. But that gives me the feeling of getting that trail hand going, of starting the backswing with the trail hand. Somebody's asked, a few people have asked, how do I start the backswing? I pull it back with the trail hand. I pull it. I pull it and then I throw it. It's definitely a pull, guys. It's a pull. It's an underhand pull, like that. That's how I start the backswing. That's how I start it. All right, now just normal length backswing but with exactly the same emphasis and you get and the wind is ripping across here 40 k's guys maybe more straight across here and the ball doesn't leave that sign not leaving that sign come on hit the sign hit it you won't hear it. Yeah, that hit the sign. You won't hear it because the wind is blowing the, blowing the sound away. That took one bounce into the sign. Off that little, tiny little golf swing. Well, that's, that's more like normal length. Okay, normal length. Come on, Jason. Normal length. Keep the legs bent. There it is there. Wow. That's flown the sign. Wow. That flew the sign into the wind. How about that? Guys, it's all, it's all trail hand. It's all trail hand and fire. 
turn down. I'm trying to get it. I feel like this, guys. I feel like the club's there. It's not, but that's what it feels like. Yeah, if you can keep that trail leg feeling like it's in behind the lead leg and hit some shots and you'll probably have to hit you know some short shots to get the feeling so I've got both feet down now and I'm doing that guys because the wind is strong but I try to cultivate that I don't think there's anything wrong with doing that hit a full shot with the foot with the feet down Can't hit it better than that. That's just flown the sign. Just took pictures of the sign as it went by. And that felt like the club was here. That the club was going to be <laughs> toe into the ground. But clearly it doesn't. I'm trying to feel that. And I feel that guy's from here. Gee, they're pretty shots. To see that ball just hold itself up against that really strong wind and just, you know, just sort of shimmy itself back into the wind. Beautiful. Okay, hit it hard, James. Come on. It's all trail hand. What could be simpler than this? Keep your legs bent, take it up, fire it down. But don't fire it down without starting with something in the lower body, otherwise you'll fire it over here so far left you'll never find it. Um. I'll just hit one this way to, uh, to show you how I'm firing it. I want to keep that trail leg inside the lead leg if I can. See that's five iron guys, those trees there are about 150, they're about, the back one's about 150, they're about 70, 80 feet high and that's just taking pictures while it's rising going over but that's what we want as a look I just hit a couple with the driver The trail hand smashed with the driver guys has picked me up 20 yards and that's no exaggeration, it's picked me up 20 yards. So the ball's in the same place guys, I measure off here. Wow. Nearly garrotted myself with the with the wire. With the driver, guys, clearly you have to turn the club down harder. Just got to do that because it's longer. So I'm turning it down almost like on the backswing. The wind is 45 k's left to right, and that just drew straight back into the wind. The golf swing feels 100% trail hand. All my pressure's in my trail hand. How much pressure's in the trail hand? Oh, nine out of 10. How much is in the lead hand? Two.
Come on, Trash. Wow. Okay, the change of direction is quick. Change of direction is quick because the emphasis on firing the right hand is quick. Forty-one inch driver, guys. They're just hammer time drivers. Absolute hammer time drivers. And they're just power draws back into that wind. Feels like that. That's what it feels like. I'm trying to smother the ball, but I can't. Okay, when I take it back, maybe something I neglected to tell you. When I take it back, I'm taking it back when I pull it, I'm rolling it what I feel is open. I'm not, I'm not taking it back shut, because if I was shut and then I was going to be wanting to be more shut coming down, I'd be in trouble. So I'm going from sort of what I think is open to shut. So I'm pulling it back and rolling it open at the same time. All right, watch this. Okay, guys, and there's a few guys that this drives nuts, but that's the best drive I've hit since I've been on Channel Lock. That's the best drive. In terms of integrity of ball flight, I mean, you just can't get better ball flight than that. This is with a driver that's, this is Diablo Octane Club, probably six years old. Um, super shaft, and it, I mean, I was just beside myself when I cut it down. I thought, you're talking about a shaft you'll never get again. This was a, a special prototype tour issue shaft. You can just never get it again. But it works great at 41 inches. It was stiff to start with, but now it's super stiff, but works great. Watch this guy. Come on. See how I'm getting that that fling away from myself. Come on, last shot. Smash this, Josh. Come on, smash it. And when I say smash it, JH, how do I get this, the extra smash? Simple, guys. I just smash it harder with that. I just apply more pressure. More smash factor. Watch this. Wow. That is pulling me forward after the shot. There's so much hit on that. No, that's the best shot to drive I've hit since I've been on Channel Lock. Just hitting some shots here, guys. Because tough conditions, and it's great to uh, to see how Channel Lock works under these conditions. Okay, last shot. Come on. Try and smother the ball. See, I'm in here, guys. I get in here. This is unloaded. And I've got that, that batter's look. When I hit it good, guys, I'm here. That batter's look. The baseball batter's look. When I stay back and hit it, it feel, feels fantastic when I do that. Oh. Just hitting a couple. It just feels sensational. I, c I couldn't rotate forward now if, if I tried. I couldn't do it. I want my arms to go forward. I don't want my body to go forward at all. Watch this. Wow. Okay, guys, just some stuff. But remember this. That's what you want to feel. Get that feeling. Pull it there. Because i got to tell you, 
when you get that feeling there, that's what I get. That's the feeling JH gets in his golf swing when I'm hitting it really good. Okay, guys, have a look at that. I hope my battery stayed up.